Let's look at how you connect nets, buses, and label components. First off, let's make sure you have your properties window open. So if you go to view, and if you go to properties, or you could also do control alt A, it will open up the properties window in system vision. Next thing I want to do is I want to actually change the name of my component here. Down in the bottom left I have a component called clock jitter question mark. The question mark comes from the ref designator being undefined. Usually in the PCB flow a ref designator defines the connection between a symbol and a PCB footprint. You'll also see that there's a section for name. Whether you name, use name or ref designator depends on your design flow. Typically, I like naming things using ref designator since it, apply, it crosses over very nicely to the PCB flow. So if I name this PCB underscore clock, it will automatically change the, the ref designator that I had here named clock underscore jitter question mark and it's visible by default. So if I want to actually make this uh, so that I don't see it in my design, I can actually uncheck that there. If I actually want to see that the property here is also ref designator, I can just check that. What you can also do though is you can also use the name field here. And if I name this PCB clock name, you'll see that I actually have two overlapping names here and it's kind of confusing on which one's the actual name. In system vision, when a component is netlisted, name will always take priority over ref designator. So what you'll see in the netlist is you'll actually see PCB underscore clock underscore name. So if you're going to name a component, I would suggest just choosing either ref designator or name. Don't use both because it tends to be a little confusing. So for this demo, let's actually um, remove that name and let's just stay with having ref designator equal to PCB clock. And then I'm just going to adjust that a little. Next thing I have to do is now that I have my PCB clock labeled, I have to actually route this to my two components here. So I have an ADD converter and I also have an FPGA. One way to do that is I could drag the component and I could connect it to the pin and you'll see a little purple asterisk star that appears. Once I let go, the star will disappear and then if I drag the component, the net's actually connected there. Another way to connect nets is to actually use the net tool. So there's a little icon up here and if you hover over the icon long enough in XDX Designer, you'll actually get a short video on how to use that specific tool. So I'm going to click on the net. I'm going to drag the net from the clock pin to this point right here. Let go, and I'll create an anchor. I'm going to drag down a little bit. Let go. That creates another anchor. And then I'm going to drag over here to PCB clock until I see again, if you could see there, a purple asterisk. Let go. And then since there's a large blue uh, bulb right there that means that the nets are actually connected if I want to label this net I left click on it and I'm gonna change this name to s clock and then I'm actually gonna wanna make it so that I don't see this label anymore so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move it back up here and uncheck this box Next thing I have to do is I want to actually connect a bus from my ADD converter to my FPGA. I'll go up to the System Vision toolbar, the XDX Designer tools, and I'll actually hover over the bus. And you'll see that since I'm hovering over the bus, I'll actually have a short video that I'll play about how to use the tool. So I'm going to click on bus. I'm going to drag bus from the ADD converter to my FPGA. Let go. And there's still one more step with the bus. You have to define how large the bus is. So the way you do that is you click on the bus the bus wire. 
and then I'm gonna name this A to D and I'm gonna do a square bracket and it's a 10-bit bus so I'm gonna define it there with the square brackets 9 colon 0 click enter and then you can see the name is a little bit overlapping so I'm gonna drag this a little bit over here and now I have a bus connecting from my ADD converter to my FPGA and that's how you name components, connect nets, name nets, connect buses, and name buses with System Vision.